So today, guys, we are going to be making some oxtails. I have four packs of oxtails. They're not, they probably got like four or five in each pack. So that's why I got so many packs. So, got these oxtails. I got a bowl right here. I'm going to take all the oxtails out and soak them. And I got some, how I clean them. I got some vinegar. And we're going to have, so let it sit in some water. And that's how we're going to clean these babies. gonna boil them on the stove for the first couple boils just to get the the nasty fatty grimy little stuff out of it um, before I put them in the crock pot so we have our packs right here so I just I'm probably gonna put like a half a cup of vinegar in here to kill whatever I'm trying to think I'm killing and put some water in here And you can also clean this with lemon juice and salt or lime juice and salt. Whatever you feel like you need to clean your tail with. Well, I'm just using vinegar. Now, I don't want to put no salt because to me, when you add salt to it, when you clean it, it makes the meat salty when you cook it. So. You see that fat? Some of this fat you want to trim off of there. Because sometimes oxtails could be so fatty and your whole pot can be full of fat. Okay. Yeah. So just keep on, you know, rinsing those, spring them around. And then we'll come back in a minute to show you guys the next step after we clean them. So I just took the oxtails out of the sink. I'm going to take some bleach and just sanitize the sink. Y'all want to make sure that y'all sanitize your sinks, y'all. Now I'm going to get a paper towel. Got the water on hot, put it on hot, hot water. Got a little soap on the paper towel, and I just kind of come through. If you have a cloth, that's good too, but I don't have any cloth that I don't use already. And after I use the, use the cloth, I spray it again with some bleach after we rinse all of that out. All right, let's spray it one more time. So now we have a pot of water right here. I, you don't want to put, well, it depends on what type of pot you're using. But what is this? I'm using this type of pot. And you don't want to put too much water in it because you don't want to overflow with your oxtails. This is just a boil too. Go ahead and get the gump off of it. So we're going to go ahead and load up this with all of our tails. And you could, I don't put any seasoning in this process. You could put a little salt if you want to, but I'm not gonna put any salt. We're just gonna let these come up to a boil. 
and let's you know get cut some of that fat and stuff like that so got that on and we're gonna let this come to a boil we'll show you guys how it looks when it comes to a boil we'll show you guys the little film that i'm talking about that comes with it and then we'll start salting and these season them and put them in the crock pot with some nice onion gravy so it will be back so we have buttered up to a boil guys as you can see it's got some little fat on there in the water but they're not as bad as i've seen I've seen some worse All right, guys, so I got an onion right here. You could use a large onion, but I was gonna use this half an onion. And it don't have to be perfect. If you're a perfect onion cutter, then be my guest. <laughs> this is just for some flavor. Oh Lord, I honestly do not like cutting onions. It's the worst thing in the world to me. Um, so yeah, they go some onions, y'all. So throw your onions, so many onions at the bottom like that. Just a few. See, just like that. Ooh, my just finger. like that. My burnt. Just like that, y'all. Oh my God. Your finger burnt with your hard head. I know. All right, guys. So you're gonna put a little bit of adobo down here at the bottom. Who taught you that? Myself. So you, you, let, you, let them know you just creating this as you go right now. This is this is how I cook my oxtails. I know, you're the creator of this. Yeah, I don't, I said, I said it's not Jamaican style. It's like, I know, this is Prissy P style. Yeah, and this is some crushed red pepper. Oh, you put that in your thumb? Just want a couple of these. Damn. Prissy P. Girl, don't my finger burn. Dang, Chris. Got some onion powder. This is at the bottom, y'all. Oh, my finger. Got some garlic powder. gonna put some lorries I only got a little bit of this so I'm just gonna put all of this in there cuz jeez and of course we need some a little bit more adobo so these are all the seasonings that we're gonna need for our oxys okay So you're going to put the rest of your onions right here on top. And literally the smallest amount of water to add to the bottom. 
because it's all gonna make its own oils and stuff. All right, put your seal on it, let it cook. I got it on high heat for right now, just to get it, bring it back to a boil, and then we're gonna, st you'll see the next layer that we're about to do. Okay, y'all, so this is Mama Bree. I'm gonna open a pack of this onion gravy mix, and I'm gonna mix it in these tails over here, y'all. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, y'all. See, uh, here's the gra a little pack of onion gravy mix. I'm put it in this. Now, Prissy P was doing something different, but I just kind of switched it up a little bit because I kind of like those packets sometimes. It flavors the food pretty well, pretty good. Pretty decent enough to eat. Still smelling good too. So I'm gonna put a little bit more water in here. And there you go. So now you can see it now. So now I just let them cook. Kind of, that one, they're kind of fatty. See, that's why it's hit or miss with F oxtails, you know what I'm saying? It's really hit or miss sometimes with these tails. But nonetheless, we're gonna go ahead and let them do what they do. We'll be back. Hey gang, 